Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed, and I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you for the love and support, being able to know that you know we're all connecting and going even though we're going through different trials we're all connecting in almost the same way which is very crazy but it's a blessing <laughs> at the same time so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also um, if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video. Or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos give you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend. Or even a fellow empath that are going through some really dark times right now. And trying to find confirmation or validation towards their soul path or even their life purpose. Go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support and i hope you're able to uh resonate with the content of my video i'm sorry y'all my cat keep on doing stuff and distracting me uh but anyways the music that i'm listening to today um uh, is called indian flute music deeply relaxed yoga music positive energy meditation music peace of mind and i will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 when you uh, realize we are all playing a part of the karmic cycle which is true you know we can go through things you remember i was telling y'all you know if you've been with me for a while you don't watch a couple of my videos and <laughs> and it's just like it's crazy how so many people are resonating with the things that i put out which is truly a blessing to me and you know going through things you know we're all aiming towards having a better life you know things we, we had our spiritual awakening for a reason. You know, we had to really see things for what they truly are. And, you know, we can really be going through some stressful times and it can put us in some dark moments. And, you know, you're struggling with things. You, you might be in a, uh, we're all playing a karmic cycle towards somebody. And, you know, you have to really see it for what it is. It's just like when you're going through things, you might be in, you know, in a situation where it's like you're constantly getting beat down, beat down. And, you know, it could be at a stressful job where the, you know, the uh, boss is being a, you know, you know, just being a pain. Or, you know, um, you might have, you're probably in a situation with, it could be a friendship, even with family or even with a, you know, a significant other. It can really be taking that, you know, really taking a toll on you. And it's just like, you know, I put out a couple of weeks ago when it takes us, a, a, you know, a couple of lifetimes to finally get the simple things that they would try to teach us for those times. And I'm like, God, dog, am I that slow? You know, why did it take me about a thousand years just to figure out something this simple? You know, and I know what. You know, I can see God just doing a, a face palm. Like, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. You know, and it's just like we're all going through this thing. And it, it could be, you know, you attract narcissism and you're going through those situations. You know, I deal with it almost every day. And it's just like, I, you know, I, sometimes I got to chuckle at it. Like today, you know, I've been going through it. I got locked out of my room today and I left my keys in here. I was just like, you know what? just great you know and then finally you know things came up and it was just like you know i hear my dad in my ear just try it one more time and then it's like i popped the lock you know and i'm just like oh thank you jesus you know i said i promise i'll never do that again and i was just so happy and even though you know it, it was just like a certain situation came up and i felt that old rosalind coming back out and i'm just like you're not her anymore you know, when you have to deal with dark situations when it comes to people and stuff like that, especially with my situation where, you know, I'm stuck and till I, you know, can figure out all the things that I had to go through. And I was just like, you know what? And it was like the evidence was right there. You know, it was like the video I just put out yesterday. It was talking about uh, never lose focus or faith and, you know, because dark forces would love to see you fall. And it was just right on the thumbnail. It's like you can hate somebody just because they, they're horrible. They treat you so horrible. But you got to understand that they they got that soul contract with you. 
and go play that part. And that's what everybody's playing that role. It, it, I mean, it's just like any, you know, any show that we watch or any movie we've got, you always got a good guy. You always got the villain and you got the cliffhanger and you're waiting to see that. It's like, I feel like my life is like the Indian, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. I really think that because you can go through the whole movie and you're like, what is he doing? This and this and that. And when you finally get towards the end, you're like, oh, no, this is it. This is the whole time. This is what he's been doing. You know, something that will really just, you know, really just throw at you. And you have to really look at it that way. And when you can see that, when you can really see, you know, yes, this person is really showing you how they are. And it's just like sometimes you have to be able to put that jackass propellant on or the asshole protect, you know, protection. You know, they got the, you know, uh, sunscreen and the all for the mosquitoes. They got to have that, too. You got to have narcissistic propellant. You know, you got to be able to do that and put that force field around you. It's like, oh, you really playing that damn part well, ain't you? You know, and you just got to really figure that out and just laugh it off at times. You know, because when I figured that out, you know how much I laughed today? I laughed a lot. <laughs> I laughed a lot. You know, and it's just like you can't ask a simple question that you know to start barking at you. I'm like. Oh, damn, who peed in your coffee today? You know, and it's just like it's on and on. But you cannot allow those certain situations to really pull you out your character. And that's what you are being tested on. Because you're getting so many signs. You're on the brink of a breakthrough to your new chapter of your life. You're going to be constantly tested. You're going to have people that's coming back in your life that you permanently need to have closure with. Because God, universe, source, creator, mass, you know, Mother Earth, all of them are telling you we're placing these in your life. We're allowing you to be able to see things for what they truly are, catching the bigger picture. You're going to be that good guy. These people are the villains. You cannot allow them to win because they will put they will keep throwing speed bumps and speed bumps and speed bumps into your life until you can finally get the gist of it and learn how to bob and weave. <laughs> you really need to learn how to bob and weave. Like if they throw that narcissism at you, like, ah, you got to be faster than that. If y'all ever seen that State Farm commercial with that old man, <laughs> that old man with that that daggone fishing rod and that girl trying to grab that dollar, like, oh, you got to be quicker than that. You really do. You really do. You have to be able to see them narcissistic narcissistic people for what they truly are they are playing a part they're allowing you to see who they truly are you can't get mad you cannot get mad because they're showing you who they truly are when they show you who they truly are you better believe them like angela uh and uh what is the name maya angelo said when they show you who they truly are believe them and that's what you need to do and you can't be upset because they're showing you the real you and when they see that they can't get you like it would, they'll work their last nerve. The best revenge is to have, still have a smile on your face, even though they're trying to throw that daggone narcissistic ball at you. Got to be quicker than that. <laughs> you got to be able to bob and weave. I got my ass whooped many times back when I was little. My mom used to get mad at me because I knew how to bob and weave. I got my butt whooped so many times. You know, I learned how to move. My mom used to throw stuff at me. I dodged real quick. You know, you have to be able to do that. And that's basically what our life is going through. We get ass whoopings all the time from when you deal, when you, when you have things that come into your life and you get really pissed off about them. When you have people come at you crazy and you haven't done nothing to them, you could have just said, how was your day? And they said, rah, 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 rah. you know, they just barking at you. And you're like, you know what? All right, you have a good day. You don't, you don't even have to respond like they're responding. As long as you know you have better things coming in your way, why the hell you going to waste your time messing with them? They are already unhappy. They playing their part. They're doing their part. They're supposed to keep you grounded. They are really keeping you grounded because it's just you can't ever sit up here and get mad because you are in that situation. It's just like, you know. When my situation is what my ex is toxic. Yes, it is. But that is the most toxic blessing that I've ever been through. <laughs> it is because it allowed me to love myself a lot more. Be patient and really see things for what they are. You know, just because they want to be a certain way don't mean I got to be that way with them. You know, when you are reacting to things, you know, when you have every right to, I know my, my mom's ex-husband, he taught me very well. He's like, when you know 
a person has did everything up under the sun to piss you off, did this and this and that. When you come in, you know, when they come back into your life or they say something to you, be kind, kill them with kindness. And that's exactly what I did to them. You know, because that lets them know they no longer have that power over you. And you have to realize when you're in that karmic cycle. And as soon as I said that, my phone lit the heck up, you know, um, and and it's like seven, seven, six, that 13 is really playing with me. <laughs> but, you know, it, it's like that's a blessing for you because it's like when we see our situations for what they truly are, it, it's just a test. It's like you're in school. You know, you get tested all the time. You get them pop quizzes every time, you know, and you have to be on your toes when it comes to stuff like that. Because if you know you're working hard to get towards something, them dark forces are going to be right around the corner because they don't want to see you prosper. They don't want to see you get blessings, even though if they they did their part right, they could get blessings, too. But they don't like the blessings that you're about to get. So you have to keep moving, keep working on yourself, keep bettering yourself. You know, every time I see my situation, I really look back, you know, because I've really been taking some, some hard blows lately. And it was just like, you know, I don't understand. You know, I'm doing the things that I, but I really wasn't getting it. I had that aha moment today and God just like, I'm glad you're catching on. I'm glad you're catching on. It, it could be the answer could be right dead in your face and you're just overlooking. It. And I'm like, well, God, dog, I just put that as a thumbnail yesterday. And then when I really looked at it again today. I was like, you know what? Damn. <laughs> it took me a minute. I was kind of slow there. But it's all right. It took me a thousand years, but better late than never. You know, so I really had to go through those different things. And I was proud of myself. You know, because even though, you know, they, you know, it's bad. Matter of fact, I'll give a prime example. That damn Lucy and Peanuts. <laughs> when you remember Charlie Brown, when she used to put out that daggone football. And say, come on, Charlie, go kick that football. You know, and she would just snatch it up every day on time. You have to be able to learn how Lucy, act. you already know what Lucy going to do. You already see her about to kick that ball. Don't even worry about kicking it. Just snatch it from her and keep running. <laughs> well, that's all you got to do. Just keep running. You have to be able to learn, you know, when somebody do it. Because, you know, they'll be acting like they're sweet one minute, figuring out, oh, we really changed them. No, that wasn't that situation you weren't supposed to change that person whoever you're dealing with it, it just means whatever situation you're dealing with you are that you are that superhero in your own sequence in that own your own karmic cycle and you have to be able to see things for what they truly are yes you can feel punished yes you feel like i am stuck you're actually not stuck it's just the fact is you got to end up finding out the equation the answer to that equation and then you'll be able to when you know and trust and believe in that equation that you get right then and there and you stay on that equation and you already see this is just an illusion you had to go through this situation they're playing their part just like you're playing your part that you don't pose to get mad at them that's not because that person has taught you a lot of things your situation has taught you a lot of things about yourself and it will make you grow up so quick it is you know and it's just like when i see my my situation and i finally figured out the answer to that i'm over here doing the little yes <laughs> yes it took time yes and i'm so happy about that and it's just like you know i had end up having that cheat sheet so i had to go back and tell the other hey okas hey i got the answer to number one that nobody could was able to figure out yet and i got the answer you want the answer i was like i'll give y'all the cheat sheet I, I didn't like doing that in school but you know at this one you know there's so many of us going through situations and we're really trying to figure out are we being punished why I, you know why am I having all these people at me the whole purpose is whatever your weakness is in your situation those things are being placed in your life so they can be heightened everything can be aligned everything can be balanced because all these new things that are coming into your life you have so many blessings coming into your life you got so many things you've been thriving for you've been you know letting go of you know, toxic people, letting go of crazy addictions that you have, no matter what it is. It doesn't always have to be a pill, a liquor, or a needle, or, you know, any kind of drug. It could be the way you're thinking about yourself, while you're thinking of others. 
you know, where you're seeing things, the way you're taking it in. Those are all the things that's supposed to be heightened that you're supposed to learn throughout this crazy karmic circle. That's the reason why they keep saying we about to be that one that's going to cut it. Because it was like, we're taking it for the team. You're taking it for the team. So it's just like when you're going through these things, allow yourself to really get past the smoke scene, you know, the smoke screens that are being placed upon you and really look at step back and look at your situation for what it is and see what the answer to that equation is and when you finally get that answer i'm telling you you know never been able to fool you again lucy will never be able to snatch that football you for you again because you will know she's gonna snatch that football every time she'll keep oh no i ain't gonna snatch the football you can't trust that you gotta trust your own instincts don't trust that that villain right there you you can't do that you gotta be able to trust in yourself that's all the things that's going to be heightened for you, for you to be able to have faith in yourself, have confidence, believe on what you see. You know, really, truly believe it. Take them smoke screens off, you know, learn what you need to learn about yourself and your surroundings, knowing that everything is in your life. And I'll tell you, once you get towards the end of that road and you about to cross that finish line to get your award, you're going to be grateful for everything that's been thrown at your life, every, every mistake that you went into every setback that you experienced every failure disappointment you know people at you because that made you strong that gave you faith within yourself that i'd be damned they're not gonna get me they're not gonna win i'm a sore loser there ain't no way in hell no nope. <laughs> my phone lit up again when i said that that you got to be able to learn that learn you have to believe in yourself have that strength to know that anything that's been placed in your life you'll be able to get through it you just have to be able to believe in yourself have the patience and have the faith in the universe that they didn't you know take you this far to you know uh leave you abandoned so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video if this is the sign that you were looking for like i tell y'all almost every video this will be your sign allow yourself to find that answer to your equation know that part that you're playing and you better off you'll be so i'm giving a post notification out to uh, amazing thailand uh let me see who else uh keisha much love to you girl and i'm so glad you were able to resonate and you know like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line and let me know so I, especially i can give you a post notification mm -hmm. shout out and you know subscribe hit that that bell uh share and, you know, know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. I pray for y'all each and every day. And I pray that every dream that you are striving so hard for, you will have that infusion. So, uh, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You never know your, your kind words will, you know, really take somebody a long way. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Oops. <laughs> ah!